Hey baby dolls, it's Bree and I'm here with the TLC Winter Skincare Routine. That's right, I'll be showing you all of the things that I incorporate into my general routine to show my skin some extra love because honey, it had gotten kind of out of whack. So, this is not a cute video. I'll be giving you depilatory cream action. I'll be giving you moisturization action. I'll be giving you mask action. So if you want to see what I do to keep this skin in check, then stay tuned for this voiceover video. XO. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, so we're just jumping right on into it, honey. Giving you an up close and personal look at this stash. Not cute, right? Girl, I gotta get with this skin and this mustache. So we're about to get into it. Hi again. <laughs> so, yeah, that oil. From on the side of my nose, that's not cute either. And right here, I guess I'm just pretty much filling the hair. So guess what? I got this depilatory cream from Dollar Tree. Holla. Yes, literally a dollar. And it works amazing. I've used it before. I can't really remember how many times, but it works pretty well. So I don't want to use my hands for this product, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use this toilet tissue to apply it. But first, I want to create like a little barrier here. So I got this Butcher Boy coconut oil, and you can use coconut oil for a number of different things. Um, I've got some here, and it's kind of I'm not going to say solid, but you can see the granules in it. It's not yet completely liquefied, so, um, but it's smooth enough for me to smear it on the face. And my body heat is really going to make it um, smooth over my skin well. So I just want to create like a little protective barrier because, I mean, that depilatory product is, it's got some chemicals in it. And... I just want to make sure my skin is not all torn up after. You know what I mean? So you can see me just applying the depilatory cream. And you don't have to be all rough with it. Literally just like lay it on the skin. And the cool part about depilatory cream is... Is better than like shaving I'm laughing because I look crazy that's not a milk mustache it's a hair remover but hey gotta do what I gotta do so it goes below the skin and so it's better than shaving and it doesn't hurt like waxing or plucking so I'm just gonna let it sit. I think I'm just trying to smooth it over a little bit better. And I can just toss this, right? Bada bing, bada boom. It's not on my hands. So yeah, just showing you that product again. $1. Of course, there's other stuff out there like Nair, but it's a buck. So I'm just going to wait five minutes and then come back and uh, get with you. So I'm back. Five minutes went by quick, huh? <laughs> the beauty of editing. So I just want to get um, some, I believe, some, yeah, paper towels. And I wet them a little bit. And look at that. 
Ooh, gross. Yeah, this is so not like a Hollywood production, you guys. But again, it's a real live video. Um, I'm a hairy girl, so I gotta do what I gotta do. And I don't always have time to go and get wax and everything else but i still like to look pretty so this works just the same and you can see how much hair it pulled up and you can see the difference already like i don't have that shadow anymore right so i think that was a dollar well spent okay So I'm just rubbing to make sure I get all that product off of my skin because again it has chemicals in it. But it worked really well I'd say. So I can still fill a few hairs but it'll be easy just to pluck those few out versus like trying to pluck hundreds of them out. You know what I mean? Because some of them are pretty thick and stubborn yeah a couple more there but it's all good so I just want to show you that it did what it was supposed to do see that little bump that's why I gotta get my skin some TLC girl uh-uh can't do the bumps out this way honey So I'm just going to rinse one more time. You want to get all that product off. So when you just see the green wall, it means I'm rinsing. <laughs> okay, now I feel better. Now it's time to really get into it. So. I've got this micellar water, um, it removes makeup, and um, it's kind of like astringent too, like, you know how sometimes you wash your face and you think that you've got everything off, but then you go back with that astringent, or in this case, this water, and you'll be like, oh my goodness, like, I thought I got everything, but I'm paying special attention to that area with that raise in my skin. But this is great because it just like traps the dirt and all those particles. And it's not like really harsh. So it's a great product. I love Garnier. I really do. Skincare. Um, stuff for your hair. I mean, I love it. I, um, well, while I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing, I use this uh, five second blur and it works wonders to reduce that shine on your face so now um i just showed you guys coconut oil and brown sugar got the brown sugar from dollar tree for a dollar i'm just mixing basically like a tablespoon's worth of each and i'm going to use this for a simple scrub on my face because i need to get this dead skin on up out of here see ya so there's no right or wrong measurements. Just do what you feel happy with. I've got a video on scrubs on my channel, so check it out. See, just a tablespoon's worth. And that one denoted one tablespoon. So I'm just gonna rub, rub, rub it up. And I'm not really like rubbing hard because the sugar is pretty abrasive so you don't need to do too much and it smells absolutely amazing that brown sugar really oh smells heavenly and the cool part about these scrubs are um, you can use them on your lips you can use them on your body you can you know pay special attention to your knees your elbows especially during the winter months um, and you can use the coconut oil for a number of different things like you could just totally use it as a moisturizer or 
maybe use it as one of your ingredients for a body butter or like a body souffle. You can even cook with coconut oil. I fried some chicken and some coconut oil and it wasn't bad. <laughs> um, and the brown sugar, that's me being cheesy and trying to show you that you can use it on your body and your lips. Definitely on your lips. Because when you use all that gloss and that matte lip uh, stick, ugh, your lips can get pretty funky and crusty. So make sure to get all that product off. It's inexpensive and now I'm going to rinse. Rinse and rinse and rinse and. So yeah, normally I do this in the shower, but of course I can't record in the shower. So I'm kind of tweaking it here so that I can show you the different steps in my routine. And it seems like I'm taking a long time to rinse, but hey, I'll just keep talking to you until I uh, see my face again. Oh, there I am. And I think at this point, like my face felt really good. And there's some expensive stuff out there, but you don't have to use all that $40,000 stuff. Go to your local Dollar Tree or supermarket and get regular stuff and it'll do the job. I mean, you don't have to spend a time to look and feel great. So I think I'm rinsing out that wash rag. Normally I do this in the shower and I pretty much just rinse it off. I just put my face under the shower head and it's done, but I gotta make sure I get everything because I'm standing over the sink. My edges are so not on fleek right now, but it's all good because like I said, this is a real video. So yeah, just trying to pay attention to detail here and get those little nooks and crannies. But yeah, you guys, try it out. Um, like I said, I have a video on my page. But this is a way, simple, simple, simple way to create a body scrub for yourself. So yeah, it feels amazing. And honestly, you can stop there, but not me, because I really want to, like I said, give myself some TLC today. So I normally alternate between that Body Clear Body Scrub and that face wash, but today I'm going to use the actual face wash. That body scrub I've been using for years, and it works the same. Just use two pumps. So I'm going to lather up here. You guys know how this works. I'm going to create a nice, rich lather. See, I'm not being cute, you guys. I'm getting with my skin, right? It always amazes me how you see those commercials, and they're, like, barely touching their skin, and they splash the water all ridiculously all over the bathroom. And I'm just like, but you didn't clean your face. So with this video, you're going to see some real scrubbing, honey. Oh, okay. Oh, so right here, big deal. A lot of folks are like, avoid the eye area. You don't want to um, irritate your eyes, but I totally wash over my eyelids. I, I take that soap down to the eyelash line because I don't want styes and just a whole bunch of other stuff growing there. So um, I, I, this is what I do. If this is something that irritates your eyes, please don't do it. But I make sure that I wash that area really well. And I also am sure to rinse that area really well because I don't want my eyes to burn. But I also don't want, again, size to form there, so those two fingers down lets you know that I'm about to rinse. 
I'm getting my rinse on. So I think at some point I will show you that I, I take that product over my eyes. Yeah. That's what I do. And this is not me being extra for the camera like I normally, you know, lather about this long. Again, it's just normally in the shower. Drop it. I am rinsing, you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, still rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. But you guys comment below, what type of face wash do you use? And... What are the benefits? I'm always on the lookout for new products. I mean, I like to use what I know works, but I'm open to using other things, you know? So I haven't got all those things, not things, but all that product off of my face. So I'm just using this wash rag once again to ensure that I get all the soap and stuff like that out of here so just to recap so far I've done the depilatory cream first creating that barrier with the coconut oil rinse that off use the micellar water then um, I did a scrub consisted of coconut oil and brown sugar wash my face with the Neutrogena and I rinsed it off so I've got these Aveeno uh, daily cleansing pads, they're the clear complexion uh, pads and it has the salicyclic acid in it. In my hygiene routine video you'll see that I speak of this. Um, I generally gravitate toward products that have that in there and it's not really focusing. I tried my best to show you but the face wash had that same ingredient as well. And I would like to think that this is what keeps my face and um, the tone of my face pretty clear. I mean, I'm human, so every now and again I'll have some bumps and raises in the skin, but hey, what can you do? So this is a new one. Um, I alternate between these pads, and they've got this very same line in the uh, pump. It's like a foaming cleanser so if I don't get the pads took me forever to open that thing then I'll get the very same thing in the pump version so I'm just flipping them around so that the ones that were on the top are now in the middle and so that by the time I get to those they'll be nice and saturated with the product so on one side is textured on the other is not I'm going to use the textured side I'm working this into a lather, a nice rich lather. And the cool part about these pads are you can, um, you know, really get in there with these things, especially around the nose. I think that's really one of my problem areas. My T zone, honestly. My skin is weird. Um, some places it's oily, other places it's dry. Winter time is different from how it is in the summertime. It just, girl, it does its own thing. I thought I had gotten everything. You would think with the scrub, with the wash, that everything would be gone. But it's always something. So you, you saw those fingers dipping down. So that means I'm rinsing this product off. And 
we are almost done we're kind of nearing home base i would say we're at like second base okay rinsing 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 I'm also like rinsing my washcloth out at this point. I think you can see a difference already. Like, I just feel like my skin is brighter than it was in the beginning. I can feel that air my pores were like open and oh that's the best feeling ever so now I just want to show you this is that Freeman Dead Sea Minerals anti-stress mask so it clears pores and smooths the skin and um, it's for all skin types so I figured it was probably best for me to go with this one because like I say my skin changes due to the season and what else is going on. I'll alternate between that one and that Formula 10 but today I'm going with the Freeman. The Formula 10 like that one peels off and it's supposed to be a skin brightening mask as well. So you'll see me here just like using a ridiculous amount of product. It smells amazing. I, I overuse product I can admit that this is a wet and wild brush I don't know what kind but I'm just going to use it to apply it evenly to my skin I'm not a professional but this just helps because it doesn't make it sloppy and it dries easier this way when it's applied evenly so I'm just taking this around my mouth and eventually it'll be all over my face smells good you guys get into it Yeah, so just trying to make it even here. See all that? I used too much. And I got the world's smallest, like, forehead. So, you'll see that, like, when I try to, like, <laughs> take it around my eyebrows, like, there's not a lot of space there. But I'm paying special attention to, like, my nose because you guys remember in the beginning like it was really oily so yeah here we go like everybody else is like they have all this space but I don't a little bit so it's not perfect like I'm not like a makeup artist or who would do these I don't know somebody in the spa I can't think of the actual term but you know what I mean I'm not a professional at the point so it's not perfect but the end results will be really good no space like I say so some of it will be in my hair but that is inevitable using more of that product so I'm going to rinse the brush off and be right back so yeah, it took me like three seconds to rinse it off. So imagine what it does for the skin. It rinses really well. So now here are some still pictures of me looking absolutely crazy with this mask on and being corny. And just showing you how happy I am with my blue mask on.
Hey, I'm happy again. Mm-hmm. Because I know I'm going to look fab. So I'm back and I didn't allow it to completely dry. I rinsed it, but I totally have a mask booger. So I need to get that off of my face. So there's that washcloth again. I'm using warm water the whole time, you guys. That air feels so good. So good, so good, so good. If you guys are Destiny Child fans, you'll know that one. Look it up, look it up, look it up. If you're not familiar. I know you hate it, but I'm doing good. So now this is cool water. Best feeling in the world. Just pressing that into my skin. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you if you want to get your skin together try this you don't always have to spend 40 and 50 dollars to get a facial this will do the trick you know so you can kind of stretch those visits out okay okay so at this point it's pretty obvious that the tv is on 1000 like you know how you get those commercials and they just all of a sudden are ridiculously loud that's how that one was and I was like okay this background music is fighting this commercial so I just cut the background music of my video off and so this is the end result my face feels good it feels clean I'm pleased overall still some areas for improvement but I think um I think I'm liking this. So now I'm just going to go in with this Dollar General astringent. And you kind of see me saying that. And that has the salicylic acid too. It's going to keep my face together. I got some cotton rounds. These are pretty much a staple in my home. I use them for a lot of different things. So... I'm gonna get two, I don't know why. And just pour some of that astringent on it. Voila. An astringent soaked cotton round. So I'm gonna pay special attention to where I had that raise in my skin. Cause I wanna treat that. I am not, and I repeat, I am not gonna go over the area where I put that depilatory cream. Cause I don't want any issues. And this can be very harsh, so I want to give that like a day or two before I put any astringent over that area. But everything else is going to get a nice coating, honey. I'm going to go underneath, get those double. Alrighty, so I'm pretty much going to use that soaked cotton round behind the ears. Just want to make sure I wipe everything down. And it feels really good, you guys. So now I'm going to take this Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. It's oil-free and it too has the salicylic acid in it. Now, I'm going to use about maybe two pumps. Yeah, two. Anywho, I'm going to just rub this in and though it has a salicylic acid in it as well, because it is a moisturizer, I don't find it to be as harsh as that astringent normally is, although it has like the same ingredient. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just my skin, maybe you can do it, but I know just by trial and error not to even go there, so... I'm paying special attention to under my eyes, 
and all of that just making sure that area is nice and moisturized because that's where people generally start to see signs of aging and at 31 like I'm really trying to make sure that I don't start seeing premature signs of aging like the crow's feet and the creases under the eyes okay Oh, and another helpful tip is, you know what, ladies, I know that we like to beautify ourselves, but sometimes just allowing your skin to breathe and laying off all that heavy makeup could be the best possible way to show your skin some TLC. So I just wanted to give you guys a, like an up close look at my skin. Still some areas for improvement, but overall, I'm really, really liking the results. So I thank you guys so much for sitting here, watching this video, taking a little time out of your day to chill out with me. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, comment below. I'm open to your suggestions. Good night, baby dolls. XO.